So the Bitcoin having, what is it and why is it so anticipated and why we should prepare for it now rather than later? And is Bitcoin in the final months before making new all time highs higher than 69,000? Well, there are three key concepts we need to go over quickly to understand what the Bitcoin having is, why it occurs, and what historically happens to the price after the Bitcoin having. So that we can be prepared for the upcoming Bitcoin having April 2024. The first concept to understand is blockchain. It's a live running ledger of all the Bitcoin transactions in Bitcoin's history. The quickest way to understand blockchain is to separate the two words, block and chain. Each block contains a limited number of transactions. Once the block is full, it is added to the previous block in the chain. A new block is created every 10 minutes and we can imagine every block of transactions connected with the chain. And we need to understand the basic structure of the Bitcoin network, which we can imagine as a bunch of computers all over the world that have installed a software called Bitcoin. Bitcoin transactions occur and the data is spread around the network of computers which validate the transactions with the new transactions to the other computers in the network. Then they broadcast the new version of the ledger to all the computers in the network. Okay, the second concept is Bitcoin mining. So Bitcoin mining is the process that computers on the blockchain network use to verify new transactions to ensure accuracy, immutability, and ultimately the entire security of the network. The entire network of these computers are called miners. So the mining process requires miners to follow a proof of work consensus protocol where computer processing power is used to solve and create cryptographic hashes which link blocks of transactions together so new transactions have a unique hash from the previous block and to get published to the ledger it requires miners to use computer power to compete with each other to create hashes and complete the next transaction on the blockchain. Without getting too technical, the basic concept to understand here is that miners are rewarded with Bitcoin every time they verify a new block of transactions on the blockchain. Miners are required to follow a proof of work consensus protocol and miners are rewarded with newly minted Bitcoin and transaction fees. These rewards are in place to incentivize miners to participate in the mining process to ensure that the Bitcoin network continues to be audited and essentially maintained. If you're new to crypto and you want to learn how to trade so you can learn how to stack your Bitcoin without becoming a miner, watch to the end of this video and we got a special promo for you. Okay, the third concept is Bitcoin's supply. Gold and Bitcoin are very similar, and that's why Satoshi Nakamoto, the anonymous founder or group of founders, designed Bitcoin to be like gold. They created Bitcoin to harbor the same characteristics as gold. Just as physical gold, people have to prospect for gold. They have to build mines to get gold out of the ground. It's very laborious, similarly to Bitcoin's hash rate. It takes an enormous amount of computing power to generate a new hash rate, to create a new hash. Bitcoin's fixed supply of 21 million coins was designed to mirror gold's inflation rate. Bitcoin is slightly inflationary like gold. Currently, there is 19,425,000 Bitcoin in circulation. We have 1,575,000 Bitcoin left to be minted. The last Bitcoin will be minted the year 2140. That's 117 years from now. Now that we understand these three concepts, blockchain, Bitcoin mining, and Bitcoin supply, let's talk about what is the Bitcoin having. Hello, my name is Chris Mitchell with Bitcoin Advisors, and today we're going to talk about what is the Bitcoin having. The Bitcoin having refers to the mining reward 
to the block reward, which is cut in half every four years. At the time of recording this video, the current reward for Bitcoin miners is 6.25 newly minted Bitcoin. April, 2024, the mining reward will be cut in half from 6.25 to 3.125 Bitcoin. Bitcoin's protocol is programmed to have a halving event every 210 thousand blocks every 210,000 blocks which are completed will commence another halving cycle we have one block every 10 minutes on average we're going to have one halving cycle every four years in 2009 the block reward was 50 bitcoin in 2012 the block reward was 25 bitcoin in 2016 the block reward was 12 and a half bitcoin Today in 2020, the block reward is six and a quarter Bitcoin. Why do we have a Bitcoin halving? Satoshi Nakamoto programmed the Bitcoin halving into the protocol to prevent inflation from decreasing the purchasing power of our Bitcoin. Interesting fact, the faster new blocks are created, the harder the mechanism for solving a block of transactions gets was a deflationary mechanism that nakamoto programmed in the protocol to make it harder to solve transactions over time very similarly to gold it takes more you know food energy oil to get more ounces of gold out of the ground they're digging two miles into the ground in south africa just to get an ounce of gold bitcoin's inflation at 900 bitcoin minted daily puts Bitcoin's inflation rate roughly at 1.8%, which means Bitcoin is much less inflationary than the US dollar. Similar to gold, it has a decreasing inflation rate over time, but Bitcoin, unlike gold, will have an inflation rate of zero one day. Gold is a store of value because of its limited supply and how hard it was to get it out of the ground. Very, very similarly, Bitcoin is a fixed supply, very, very hard to get out of the computer. So what are the implications of the Bitcoin halving events? Well, gold has been considered one of the best stores of value because of its limited supply and its difficulty to produce, making it a very scarce asset. And when comparing it to Bitcoin's fixed supply, Bitcoin was in fact designed to be scarcer than gold. So if demand remains steady or increases on this fixed supply of Bitcoin, which has been on the rise during some of the most prolific macroeconomic events in our history, during these times, we think Bitcoin will most likely benefit from a longer term bullish outlook. The Bitcoin halving cycle will most likely have positive long-term effects. And after the halving, in 2024, Bitcoin supply will become even scarcer. What has happened to the price over the past couple of having events? November 2012, Bitcoin is at $11 around the first having cycle. One year later, 2013, it hits $1,100. Not bad. The highest Bitcoin had ever been that time before dropping down to $220 and remaining under a thousand for the next five years. July, 2016, when we had the second halving, Bitcoin was around $600. And then 18 months later, near the end of 2017, it spiked to $20,000 before dropping down to around $8,000 and even $3,000 during 2019. Now, the most recent having a event happened around March of 2020 in the midst of some unusual times, if I do say so myself. Bitcoin was about $8,000. The halving occurs one and a half years later, Bitcoin runs to $69,000. So one year later, April 2021, Bitcoin hit $60,000. Later that year, uh, December 2021, Bitcoin hit $69,000 before dropping back down to 40,000, ultimately below $20,000. So historically, the months immediately after the halving event, it actually comes down a little bit. So the market usually starts heating up 12 months after the halving. Now, I would argue that the bull market starts 12 months before the halving cycle as people buy in anticipation of the drop in supply. 
Now this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you go back in the past prior bull markets, you'll see they all start pretty much 12 months before the actual halving date. Hey, if you wanna learn more about the Bitcoin halving and how to time your market entry and exit, watch this next video. If you did enjoy the channel today, I hope you drop us a like and subscribe, share it with a friend or family, Bitcoin halving, 2024 it's coming for you like a great white shark for dinner that's it for the bitcoin having guys i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time take care